The creators of Tagged really thought to themselves, we need to make a dating app where you can call people pets and buy them. They weren't wrong, because there's an audience for it. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your resource for online dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be reviewing the dating app Tagged. Tagged is a very unique dating app and I'm really excited to dive into this one. I'm going to be going over Tagged's demographics, its effectiveness, its features, its ease of use, and its prices. Before I dive right in though, you have to be sure that Tag is actually a dating app that is for you. And the way to do that is to check out our free online dating app quiz. There's a link in the description. It'll take you right to our quiz. And this will match you with your perfect online dating app. But I'm really curious to see if Tag is actually the one for you. So go take the quiz, then come right on back and finish this video. So let's jump into it and get right into the demographics of Tag. Tagged is over 300 million users, of which most of them are from the USA, which has about 120 million of those users. The users are also predominantly in the UK, France, and Latin America. Of the 300 million members, 83% are male and 17% are female, so males are actually dominating the population of this app. This app is definitely heavily targeted towards younger people, but it does have a significant older uh, population of users. Interestingly enough, this app was originally meant to be something like a teen yahoo or an mtv type site and obviously it has pretty much completely changed over the years in its demographics and the whole purpose of the site tagged was actually created in the early to mid 2000s which was a great time for uh facebook and myspace and tagged actually took after that approach and you can still see the remnants of that on the app so that's a big reason why it's still actually heavily targeted towards a younger demographic because of its original intentions to be a sort of teen-centered app, but it's now sort of turned this adult dating site. So I mentioned some data in this last category, and I do also want to mention that to get the most up-to-date data, you actually want to check out this article. So this video is an article form on Online for Love. It's a free article. It's got more information than I'm saying in this YouTube video, so you definitely want to check that out. Because the truth is, the numbers that I'm stating in this video are only accurate at the time of recording this. Things are always changing. So if you want the most up-to-date info, definitely just go to the article. It'll have all the new info for you. Now let's talk about the effectiveness of tech. So Tag does boast a huge user base of over 300 million users, which is nothing to scoff at. Though it does come with a caveat that a lot of these profiles are inactive or fake, which is a definite problem on this app. The people who are on there though, and who are not scammers, are not fake, are not inactive, are looking for some fun casual encounters and conversations. So there is a good chance that you can achieve that once you find somebody who is real. Being active on your feed, browsing through and liking profiles on the meet me section, and playing the pets game will definitely raise your chances of meeting somebody. And we'll get more into those features in our next category, so stay tuned for that. Before we dive into that, I do need to mention that the best thing for your effectiveness and success rate on tagged or any online dating app or dating site is to have a killer and solid profile your profile is everything on dating apps and online it says so much about you and it could make or break your experience so you want to have a good one that's why we have actually created a free online dating profile guide for men and for women like i said it's totally free all you need to do is just click the link in the description it'll take you right there and you can check out your free online dating profile guide to help you out and up your chances of success now let's dive into the features of tagged so tagged comes with some of the basic features that most all dating apps and sites have. You can browse new profiles. There's a section called Meet Me, which is sort of a Tinder copycat where you can swipe right or left on various profiles of people. But that's not really why people come to Tagged specifically. People come to Tagged specifically because they have this pets game, which I mentioned in the very beginning. So let's get into what that is. Tagged has a pets game where you can buy other members. Well, not really. And when you buy someone, you increase your profit by 10% and you become the owner of your pet. When someone else buys your pet, you get half the profit. Other people can buy you as a pet as well. So the point of the game is to have the highest profit, which is displayed in the UV pets currency. You can also buy gold points for real money and spend them to increase your value. So the more pets you own, the higher your value and the better you rank globally. 
You can also browse pets by using a filter that lets you set their age, location, and value range. This game is of course endless and if you don't want to become bankrupt and spend vast amounts of cash, you can just enjoy buying other profiles and maybe even start a conversation with your pets. This aspect of the app is a, was a little bit confusing at first for me to wrap my head around, but it's obviously a huge draw for some people. It's loved by the people who play it, so you know, more power to them. So now let's move on and talk about the ease of use of Tagged. So Tagged is very simple and easy to use. It's pretty straightforward. It follows the lead of a lot of other dating apps and websites out there. Although I do have to tell you that in my opinion, Tagged is a little bit outdated looking. Um, it's just, yeah, point blank looks outdated. It looks like it is from the mid-2000s. It hasn't been updated since and I really could use one. Not only that, but it is riddled with ads. I mean, there are tons of ads everywhere. Pop-ups, ads for this, ads for that. You can't escape them. So it has the pro that it is easy to use, but the con that you're constantly getting a barrage of these ads and the whole website just looks dated and it really could use an upgrade. On the plus side though, the app does make it very simple for you when you've got notifications. Um, it's pretty straightforward with that and it is easy to use so you know there's some give and take with the pros and cons of the ease of use and site navigation and site layout of tagged by the way real quick if you are enjoying this video please give us a thumbs up so giving this video a thumbs up actually helps us out a ton because it shows youtube that our videos are being liked and it'll push it out for, for more people to see so please give us a big thumbs up okay last but not least let's talk about the pricing of tagged first off i have to explain love so love is a virtual currency on tagged which you don't actually have to pay for you do get 10 free love per day and this is how that works you can give and receive love to earn points and fill up your love meter you can pass on love that can be used by the recipient by giving two love or more you can convert gold to get more love to give um, love points expire after seven days and you can give love every day to outrank your friends so when you give love you earn 25 points and you can see when you give a certain amount of love you can earn a certain amount of points up to a million and the love recipient also receives points as well up to 350,000 points so it's kind of cool that there is a sort of virtual currency that you don't actually have to pay for of course there are um, premium features that you can pay for I'll get into in a second but I just thought it was worth mentioning that there is a system in place and a game of five system where you can actually enjoy some cool little features of the app without having to actually pay for it though it seems like um, something that on other apps you would have to pay for but you just get this free little game thing it's kind of cool it's a cool little feature um, so I thought I would include it here but let's let's get into the premium features that you would actually have to pay for because love you can actually get for free and you get 10 free for day um, but yeah when you um, join premium first off before we get into the prices this is what you get with your premium membership you can see who likes you you can see who viewed your profile you can access popular people you can get message red alerts you can contact new users before other people do and you get premium prioritized email support. For one month of membership, it'll cost $9.99 per month. For three months, it's $6.99 per month or $20.97 overall. And for six months, it'll cost you $4.99 per, per month or $29.94 built. Overall, I would say that Tagged definitely has its pros and its cons. So some pros are that it's definitely very gamified. It's got these unique features like the pets thing, like giving love that um, a lot of people will find very entertaining and interesting and fun to use and that keeps them coming back um a con of the website however is that like i mentioned there are some fake profiles and active profiles lots of ads and pop-ups everywhere um, and it's just a little bit outdated looking so it's up to you if those things are a major deterrent and i would say overall the whole site is um, very casual based sort of for fun um, if you were looking for something that was longer term more serious and um, maybe apps that are up to date and just in my opinion maybe a little bit 
a little bit better honestly i would say go for something more like eHarmony or match.com if you want to sign up for those we do have discount codes in the description below um but i'm not knocking tagged i'm definitely very curious to see if you have tried out tags and if you did what did you think about it i'm so interested to know please leave your comments below and let's talk about it have you tried tag or would you try tag why or why not but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give a like and subscribe if you loved it and hopefully we'll see you here again on live for love thanks bye